guys, so we're in Evie's nursery yet again, and I just wanted to kind of take you around the room and show you the ways that we saved not only money when we did this nursery, but also on space, because her room is so tiny that we had to really be creative when, you know, laying out the space and being really selective about the things that we chose to put in the room. So I wanted to bring you forward and show you the ways that we saved money and space. So as you can see, this room, quite tiny. But first off, we were just incredibly blessed to be able to get a few things as gifts for her, and that certainly saved money. But if you have family or friends that are willing to buy things for you as a gift for the room, I would say definitely go ahead and, you know, let them know what you need and you'll be able to get specifically what you want and you won't have to spend the money yourself. So things like her crib, her crib bedding, and this rocking chair and her mattress. Those were all gifts from family members that really, really helped us to save money when doing this nursery. But speaking of crib bedding, I would highly recommend skipping the bedding sets. Now we did get kind of a, a set in a way, like we got a bumper and a crib sheet. There's my little Evie girl. Hi, sweet mama. But um, this was a Pottery Barn set that um, was discontinued. They weren't selling it anymore. So I actually found it on eBay and I just loved it so much. She kind of has an air balloon theme in her room. So this had really, really cute air balloons and little animals on it. It's just so, so sweet that I found it on Pottery Barn and my sister bought it for me. And I just got one sheet and the bumper. I didn't get um, like a quilt and I didn't get any little like wall decorations and that definitely saved money. And what I did was I just got some coordinating sheets. I registered for them that kind of will go with the bumper since that doesn't get changed as much. So I just got like this white sheet with tan stars on it. I got this little polka dot one and then I bought a pink flannel one that'll be more for winter time. And they all coordinate with the, the bumper and they'll work perfectly. And then let's see, underneath this is the crib skirt that I made and what I did was I got two curtain panels from um, like TJ Maxx or Marshalls and they were only $20 and what I did was I cut one of them in half to make the curtains for her window and with the other one I turned it into a crib skirt using the Young House Love tutorial and it's just held on by Velcro. And then underneath I'm able to store things that would normally be taking up space in the room but what I did was I got one of these rolling um, under the bed carts and in it we keep like extra diapers and wipes and also on the side underneath I have like a little extra bin down there. This little basket was from TJ Maxx and it's filled with toys that were mine when I was little. So again that saved obviously a ton of money. These things were free and they're absolutely adorable and sentimental because they were mine. Up here I have artwork that I made and I just printed off a lyric from a hymn that I absolutely love and I popped it into a frame that I picked up at a thrift store. Over on this wall, we have her mobile up there, and I just used that. I made it with my with my friend, and she has a, I think it's, it's either a cricket or a silhouette, I'm not sure, and we just cut out the shapes of the air balloons, and I used three different uh, coordinating uh, scrapbook papers to make it and hung it with fishing line so it looks like it's floating and obviously that was super cheap all I had to buy was scrapbook paper. Her changing table is actually an old dresser that was mine I got it at a thrift store years ago and I just used it repurposed it to be her changing table through a changing pad up top and I put some dollar store on slip shelf liner and it helps to keep her changing pad in place so it's not moving around as she's learning to be squirmy. Inside her drawer I picked up some um, organizers from the Dollar Tree and these already have all the little dividers and I've organized her shoes and her hats and just little socks and things like that. And also in these some of these drawers I picked up some plastic organizers for also from the Dollar Tree and I'm organizing like pants keeping them separate from onesies and things like that 
And again, on in this top drawer, I've used one for diapers. And then I keep wipes on this side, and I collect like her little Pampers points and stuff like that. Another way we saved money and space was with these shelves that we put on her wall. I mean, I guess they're more like ledges, and they only stick out a very small bit. And again, I can't overemphasize how small this room is. So these really saved space, but also, you know, at the same time, gave us so much display space for books on the bottom two. And up top, I have like a frame that I already had that I just repurposed. This frame, it was a prize at a shower and I just popped in my own artwork in there. That E was from her shower and I just have some other cute little decorative things. This outlet is the only outlet in the room, so we had to be really like selective about what we were going to plug into it. So we just have her monitor and her humidifier, and I did a video about that. I bought it at the Goodwill, and I cleaned it up really good, and now it is in her room. Moving on, her closet is in this back corner, and in front of it we keep a tiny little garbage can, and it's perfect. It holds about maybe like a week's worth. I only put wet diapers in it now. I don't really leave her other diapers in it, but a small garbage can saves space and I just have to change it more frequently than a larger garbage can, but you know, I'm okay with that. Back in her closet area, this was just a little nook off of her room and we hung two clothing rods to hang, you know, to maximize the amount of clothing space we could hang. This little bin down here was from the dollar store. And what I do is as she grows out of clothes, I put them in this bin. And then when it gets full, I'll bring it down into our basement and just organize them into bigger bins, you know, so I can save the clothes for, you know, the next baby. And another little thing I picked up recently were these hanging baskets from the dollar store. It was just from like a generic dollar store. But I thought they were so sweet. They have like little bear heads on them. And I don't have a specific idea in mind for them, but they hang, which really saves on space. And I mean, there's always going to be little things I'm going to want to organize. So I picked them up, put them in here. Behind the clothes, we have these bigger Tupperware bins. And again, we have, you know, limited space in here. So these really maximize the amount of space. I have some extra bins and I can store all sorts of out of season clothes or extra diapers. Here's a little artwork that a friend of mine made. She made like a stat, her birth stats with her weight and her time and all that. And that is her room. This carpet was the, you know, area rug was from Target, the threshold line. And I think it was about $140, which is, you know, pretty reasonable. And that's pretty much her room, guys. It's working out really well. And I think she loves it. And that's how we saved space and money. Thanks for watching, guys. Take care. Bye.